everyone, happy Saturday and welcome to today's video. Today I'll be eating only Deliveroo for 24 hours. Every single meal, every single drink, everything from Deliveroo. If you are new here, please do make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you're already subscribed, then make sure you follow me on Instagram, that would be awesome. My username is Emily Cannon. But I will not make you wait any longer. Let's get into today's video. So it's time to order some breakfast. I'm hungry, I'm ready for my first meal of the day. Now, there's not actually that much on Deliveroo that's like healthy breakfast wise. However, I have just found out that the breakfast club on here, now I've never been to the breakfast club, but they have one in Soho and it's such a, like a hyped place and I've never eaten there. There's always a queue. So I think we're gonna order today and they have all sorts like they've got the all american which is pancakes they've got pancakes with cream and berries now i don't think these are going to come presented very nicely but what i think i'm going to get is a breakfast sandwich and this looks like a kind of egg slut kind of thing if you've ever eaten an egg slut and yeah i mean maybe not this one this is like literally looks like a burger i kind of just want like avocado bacon egg oh but they all come with fancy things like tomato bacon avocado egg and cheese okay that's what i want okay and to drink, I'm gonna get a juice of some sort. They do apple, carrot, orange and ginger, spinach, celery, set, celery. Let's go for the apple, carrot. Whoa, that's expensive. I just want a small one. That was 12 pounds. Yeah, I'm gonna get the apple, carrot, orange and ginger, which is the slow boy. And can I say, like, don't put chipotle mayo. Okay, I can't amend it to say that I don't want the mayo, but it's fine because we'll just go with it. Okay, so I'm getting the breakfast sandwich, which is bacon, avocado, egg, and cheese, and then I'm getting the slow boy juice. Now, are you ready to hear how much this is costing me? I'm gonna tell you how much they all cost throughout the day, and I think some of you are going to feel sick with how expensive it is. So the breakfast sandwich is eight pounds, and the slow boy juice is 4 95 so in total, it is costing me 12 pounds and 95 pence for breakfast. And I'm so hungry. My delivery driver just told me he is two minutes away and I will get a notification when it is outside my door. And I just wanted to hop in here and say, obviously there are completely different things on like Just Eat and Uber Eats and Deliveroo. So today we're doing Deliveroo, but if you would like to see me eat for 24 hours from Uber Eats or Just Eat or somewhere like that, just let me know down below in the comments and let me know which one I should do next. So this is how it came, let's unbox it. I didn't even know I could get delivery from this place. I don't know if they're new on delivery or like new open in the area. I should probably actually look into that because I'm kind of shocked. Okay, so I'm guessing this is my juice. It's come very well wrapped. Okay, it's just in like a bottle. I thought it was gonna be like freshly squeezed, but maybe it is freshly juiced. It just says the breakfast club, breakfast in bed, question mark, which I'm guessing is like their takeout thing, which is pretty cool. And then in here we have the breakfast roll. Now this is big, very big. Okay, oh my gosh, look at the box. It comes, in, like turns into a plate. Okay, big fan. Let's unwrap this bad boy. Oh my gosh, this looks incredible. Okay, I mean, this is my idea of a great breakfast. I don't know about you, can you see this? I love a good breakfast roll. I don't have them particularly often. However, the bun on this looks amazing. It looks like sourdough, bacon, egg, tomatoes. I'm not mad. Let's try this. It's so big. I always find things like this so messy to eat. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's try the juice. It's really good. It tastes it tastes really fresh. So I'd give that a solid 10 out of 10. I'm gonna pop the juice in the fridge and save it for later because I'm stuffed right now. Also, I think these taste best when they're freezing cold. So I might go on a walk or something and take it with me and that, that actually sounds really good. So this is what I've been looking forward to all day. It's like midday, I'm not ready for lunch yet. So I want to order a drink. And that sounds pretty excessive, I know, but guys, we're doing delivery for 24 hours, so that's what I gotta do. I'm gonna order a bubble tea, and I am so hyped about this. This is what I've been missing for so long, I just haven't had it. So I'm gonna get Bubbleology. I'm going to get, oh, this is so tricky, what do I get? Thinking passion fruit, strawberry, I haven't had strawberry, raspberry, that'd be nice. Right, I'm gonna do the mango, large mango, and then I'm not gonna add any other tea, but I'm going to get extra boba. I'm going to get, apple boba mm, passion fruit boba and strawberry boba why not we'll get all three i don't want tapioca what even is tapioca okay add it to the basket so this is gonna cost me five pounds and 39 pence in total wait why does it say nine pounds 
So because my order's under £10, I have to pay a small delivery fee. I don't want to. Do I get two? Okay, I'm gonna get two because I have to pay £9 for one or I pay £11 for two. So obviously I'm gonna pay £11 for two and I'll put it in my fridge and I'll drink it tomorrow. So I got the large mango tea with apple, passion fruit and strawberry boba. It says it's gonna take up to 45 minutes to get here. I don't believe that. I could literally walk there in like three minutes. It has arrived and tell me if this stresses you out too. This is how it came. Like one of them's upside down. Does that not just stress anyone out? Okay. I mean, none of it's leaked, so that's reassuring. I mean, they see all the tops. So, I'm gonna pop the other one in the fridge. This is what the drink looks like. Let's stab it. Okay. Oh! Oh no, it went on the carpet. Wow. Oh, I've been waiting for this since pre-lockdown. Let's try it. I'm gonna try just the tea first. So good. These can't be good for you. Like, they taste so sweet. Can someone tell me if these are, like, full of sugar? They probably are. Right, let's try some of the boba. Mm. It's the craziest thing when it, like, goes into your mouth. If you've never tried bubble tea, then go and try it. It's, like, one of the most fun drinks. It's expensive for what it is, but it's really yummy. Mmm. Mmm. All the tea they use is organic. Mmm. This is really yummy. I mean, I've got another one for tomorrow. I don't know if the boba... Are they going to be fine overnight? Either way. I'm very happy with this. Please ignore the sounds of the city. I quite like hearing it, but I think it's time to order some food. It is three o'clock, which means it's probably lunchtime. I know my meal times are so messed up. Basically, I had breakfast at like midday, and then now it's lunchtime, but it's not really lunchtime anymore. But anyway, let's go and see what we can find on delivery. I'm not like crazy hungry. I'm still really full from breakfast, but we'll see if we can find something to tickle my fancy. I don't want anything too heavy. Everything looks very heavy. Can I like order a coconut water? Coconut. Coconut ice cream, co coconut coleslaw. Do you know what I could really eat? I could eat like a fruit platter. <gasps> Should I see if I, got, I can get a fruit platter? Who orders a fruit platter on delivery? Like who even am I? Yeah, they don't have fruit platters. <laughs> I could do like a nectarine. Oh, M&S is on there. Why can't I order fruit from M&S? Apples, bananas, strawberries, raspberries. I prefer raspberries to strawberries. Anyone else? Right, I'm gonna get a punnet of raspberries. Everything on here is things you'd forget when you're in the middle of cooking, like chopped tomatoes or like jam or tea bags. So I've ordered raspberries, three cucumbers, broccoli, carrots, mango, onions and another secret thing that you can see when it's here and the total is 15 pounds 54 pence let me know do you think that's expensive do you think that's not expensive i know what i think but i'm gonna let you make your own judgment it's saying it's gonna take 10 to 20 minutes to be delivered can't say i'm mad at that in fact i'm very impressed now have you seen any other youtuber do a food haul sat on their kitchen floor probably not i'm just i'm just gonna say it we're all about firsts over here so this is what was left outside my door, M&S bag. So I got baby carrots. Is that what they called? Yes. I got a cucumber, a cucumber, a cucumber. I mean, I've already told you what I've got, but you know, we've got mango, we've got raspberries. This is the secret thing. I'm going to save this to last. We've got tender stone broccoli, which looks incredible, and some onions, because I'm thinking either today or tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, we'll order something tonight. I'm going to do like a kind of veg roast, just like one of my favorite dinners at the moment. And then the thing that I got is apple and peanut butter, or just almond butter. No, it's peanut butter. So this is what I'm gonna have now as my snack because I'm a little bit peckish, but I'm not like meal hungry. So this will be great. And then I'll probably have some raspberries too. <laughs> I'm hungry and I'm ready for some dinner. I mean, surprise, surprise, the uh, peanut butter and apples didn't really fill much of a gap. Are we shocked? Probably not. So I don't actually know what I fancy. I'm gonna have a browse and deliver and see what tickles my fancy. Let's be honest, it's probably gonna be pizza or something like that. The selection has become drastically better since lockdown. I feel like this whole video is me just choosing what to eat because I'm so indecisive. So I've just realized it tells you on here what places food hygiene ratings are. I was gonna order from somewhere and it was like their food hygiene rating is three. So I wanna have a look at the places that I've ordered from today to see what their food hygiene ratings are. Okay, the Breakfast Club, their hygiene rating is five. We love that. Bubbleology, five. And I'm assuming M&S is five because it's Marks and Spencer's. Okay, now I'm gonna be really picky with where I order from because I'm gonna be like, your hygiene rating's not enough. 
I will get tortilla. That's one of my favorite things to order on delivery, but I'm just not that hungry. I feel like what I want to do is get a meal and then order something sweet from somewhere else for dessert because it's only like six o'clock right now. So I'm going to get peckish later on, but I feel like I really haven't eaten that much today, but I'm really not that hungry and I don't know why. I mean, I ate a lot yesterday. Does anyone else get like that? If you eat loads one day, the next day you're just a bit like, meh. I want pizza, but I want the right type of pizza. Why am I taking so long to decide what to have for my dinner? Right, I'm not even gonna tell you, it's just gonna be a surprise when it turns up because I'm that indecisive, and then you'll see what I order because quite clearly, I can't figure it out. So, yeah, I hope you're excited to see what I choose. Dinner has arrived. Now, I've never ordered this like Romana base before, literally ever, so let's see this together. I'm so interested to see what it looks like and then I'll let you know how much I paid for this. Oh my gosh, that looks incredible. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with my decision. So I paid 13 pounds and 34 pence for this pizza, which when you say it out loud, sounds like a lot of money. And I actually have added up how much I've spent so far today and it's making me feel a bit sick. I will give you a total at the end, but for now, you're just gonna have to keep watching. Time for me to dig in. The only thing is they haven't cut the pizza, so I think I'm just gonna have to like tear into it, which is kind of annoying. This looks like a Frankie and Benny's pizza. That's what it looks like. Look how thin it is. So it suddenly got dark, but it is, well, actually it's 9.40. Let's order the last food of the day, the last delivery order. I'm going to order a dessert of some sort. So I'm just gonna type in dessert and see what I can find. I fancy cookies. Could I order like hot cookies? What was their hygiene rating though? I'm gonna order two things of Ben and Jerry's ice cream. And I'm gonna get them from Pete's Hub because I know they do it. Here we go. So, Ben and Jerry's chocolate fudge brownie is 5.49. I feel like that's the same as the supermarket. And I'm gonna order the blondie brownie, which shouldn't be a small thiefy. No, okay. So total, that is 11 pounds and 47 pence. And it says it's going to take, oh, 20 to 30 minutes. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have already started it. So I went for the chocolate fudge brownie. I just put the other one in the freezer, but we don't want to pay that small order charge, you know? I'd rather just get more food and then eat it another day. So total today, on delivery, I have spent, for food for one person, 75 pounds and six pence. Now bear in mind, I didn't even get like a proper lunch. I had breakfast, brunch, a snack, dinner, and a dessert, and a drink. 75 pounds and six pence. I think that's phenomenal. That's so much money for food in one day. That's like maybe like 10 days food budget for me for like a supermarket, if not maybe even more. So, I mean, I hope you enjoyed seeing me waste a bunch of money on food. Uh, it was a great day. I've enjoyed every moment of it. And now I'm gonna go and eat my Ben and Jerry's in bed and watch the kiss and booth too sounds like a perfect night to me but i really do hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a massive thumbs up and i will see you so very soon bye he drinks daniels at the bar drives his daddy's jaguar